What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Hustle with Jesse W. And today we're gonna go over how very small monthly investments can grow into a huge return. Check it out. All right guys, so before we jump on into this, do me a quick favor, smash that like button and hit the subscribe button. Help me help you. If you help me by subscribing, it lets me know that you're enjoying the content. I'll keep producing it. And hopefully by the end of the year, I can reach my goal. You know, if you can help me reach that goal, that'd be outstanding. I have a goal to reach 1,000 subs by the end of the year. I think it's doable. I think it's possible, but I can't do it without you. So give me a hand there, please. All right, guys. So let's jump into this. Today's topic is very simple. It is about how very small investments over a extended period of time, which isn't that lengthy, can yield a very nice return. So let's jump into this. And the first thing we're going to look at is the stock market. Okay. So let's see here. Consensus is that the stock market can return between 6.7, 6.6 to 7% on average over, you know, a very long time. Like this has been over the last 30 years, 1950 to 2009. Uh, this over here is the last 30 years. So, you know, what is this, like the 1980s until uh, now 2018. Well, in this case, it was 2018, 2019 right now. Uh, you know, you can expect about that 7%, 7% on average rate of return at the end of that period of time. It doesn't mean that some years you're not going to make more. Some years you can probably make a little bit less. It's just on average, it kind of like comes out to that. And that's just the average. There's a lot of people who put money into these accounts and taken out you know, 10, 12, 15, 20% returns in their time period. So it all just depends, but we're going to use the low numbers, right? Because we'd rather be uh, pleasantly surprised than not. So we'll use the low numbers. And if the numbers get bigger, right? As time progresses, hey, better, the more money you've made. But the smaller number is fine because it's still going to be a real nice chunk of change. So check this out. We're going to use these numbers here. Let's say you are 25 years old, okay? And you plan to retire at before, everybody wants to retire before 60, right? But this type of account, you cannot really take out the money without getting hit with some fees until you're 59 and a half, right? So this is gonna be that extra money. You know, we're gonna, the extra hustles to retire sooner by trading, investing in real estate, etc. that has nothing to do with this. This is the icing on the cake, okay? So we're gonna say we're gonna retire at 60. Right, because we can't really get to the funds without hitting a fee until we're 59 and a half, anyways. So let's say you have 1500 bucks that you want to put in an account. You can come up with 1500 bucks. If you can't come up with 1500 bucks or don't have an idea on how, check out some of my other videos, it'll help you. All right, and you're going to contribute just $250 a month. If you can't contribute $250 a month, you're doing something horribly wrong right now. Either you're living in horrible debt, you're overspending, or you're not really putting all the effort in on making that extra cash, making an extra 250 bucks a month by buying stuff at a garage sale and flipping it online is not something that cannot be done easily. All right. This is easy, easy money that can be done. Let's say you get a 6.7, all right? They were saying 6.4 or 6. Point, what was it? 6.5. Uh, to 7.0. So let's use 6.7. Let's go very small numbers, 1500 initial investment, $250 a month, which is not even the max that you can do in an IRA and 6.7%. Let's calculate that. What is it going to look like in 35 years? You're going to have $429,000. Okay. Look, look at the graph. Let me move. Let me move myself out of here. Whoops. Look at that graph. That's the kind of graph a stock traders dream of, right? You start off real light now, and before you know it, you're up here, $429,000. And that, that's just the minimum, right? Because you're only getting, you know, you're, you're averaging it out at 6.7% return, which generally it's much higher than that. And you're only putting a minimum of $250 a month, you know, Generally, you're going to get a better paying job or your, your business is going to grow. You're going to become a better trader. You're going to have extra capital. You're going to be able to bump this up to $500 a month. All right. You're going to get rid of that car payment that is $500 a month. 
and you're going to use that money to invest, right? That's what I've done. Uh, we got rid of uh, our car payment and uh, have another car that's paid for cash, and we're putting that money towards this, right? Let's say you did $500. Look at that number creep up close to a million dollars. And this isn't money that's crippling you a month to invest in this. It's not crippling. I wish I would have started this in my 20s. I so wish I would have started this in my 20s. Uh, I do have account, an account there that I started with um, a while back, when, right before I turned 30. I was 28 or so. And that account has roughly um, $5,000 in it. And I'm roughly just putting 500 bucks a month in it. And we're going to go ahead and do... Look at this, $413,000, just keeping it as is right there. Just keeping it as is right there in a few years. What is it, in 25 years? That's without counting any of my other investments. So this is going to be real nice. Now, there's no reason why we don't you know, invest into this. We'll go back to these small numbers again. 250 bucks a month and 25 years old bam you're at 400 and well that's a 5000 but we said we were going to start it at 1500 bam we're going to start it right there $429,000 that's not bad at all even if you're just like you know my age 35 and you keep it there keep it very simple you're just starting out right now that's still $200,000 at the very least you can cash out and pay off your house if you haven't at that point. You know, like there's no excuse not to jump into this. Uh, and it's really small numbers, 250 bucks. If you can't come up with 250 bucks, like I said, you're overspending. You're, you're living above your means. 250 bucks once, once a month. That's not, that's not a lot of money, guys. It's really not. You know, it's really not. You can come up with that freaking driving Uber. All right. So... This is just some numbers that I wanted to share with you because they don't teach you this stuff in high school. Let's say you're, you're, you just graduated high school and you're 18 years old and you start off an account as goes here. You're 18 years old, start off an account with 500 bucks. You can come up with 500 bucks and you put in, let's say not 250, let's say $200 a month. Same rate of return. Let's calculate this. Look at that number. That's 500K. Oh, but what am I gonna do with that when you're six, when I'm 60? Dude, when you're 60 and you have $500,000 extra sitting in your bank account, you can do a crap load of stuff. Just keep your health up, you know, stay active and get to travel and get out there and go fish and get out there and do whatever the hell you want. But the numbers are there, they don't lie. Drop in the comment section below, what is your IRA plan? How are you working that out? You know, and any questions you might have, remember to subscribe, hit that like button and I'll catch you on the next.